This class is precision machining. You're basically learning the basics of machining and how to run all the machines. It's basically just taking raw material and then turning it into something new. When you first start off, we do go over a lot of safety just to make sure everyone is safe in the shop as well as yourself. Before we were even in the shop, we went into, uh, into the classroom and we were there for like two weeks just going over safety. We make a set of blueprints and all the dimensions like for all three axes and then just make everything from those dimensions. We start off with a like solid bar of stainless steel and then we would put it on the lathe, get it down to the outside diameter that we want it and then we would get the inside di diameter to um, to what it needs to be. The process seems pretty difficult until you actually get hands on and start trying to do it. But it, um, once you get hands on, it, it's pretty easy, pretty easy to pick up. When I first came in, I didn't have any clue how to do anything. And now um, I've got a couple neat things to show that I've actually learned. We make a lot of stuff. Like we were, we made rings. We made some dice. We're starting on this um, cube, like this puzzle that you can't really figure out. Like it's like a cross in a box, and have people ask, like, how'd you get the cross in there? But you really built it in there instead of putting it in there. This is a college course class. If you're like a senior and you take this class, you can go on to CVCC and take the next part, which is still college credit going, like going towards college. So that, then you won't have to do it when you're in college. I definitely recommend it to to any one of my friends, especially if they like working hands-on. Uh, people that like doing things like with machines and using tools, like hands-on activities. I would recommend it to a lot of people that like to do hands-on work and interested in making a bunch of things that could that they could use somewhere down the line in the future.